Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide for the 4-Node Mini 2-Way installation. Due to frequent customer requests, we're bringing you this detailed installation video. For this demonstration, we've set up a typical 2-Way connection. Here you can see two switch boxes controlling four light connections. We'll label the two switch boxes as switch box 1 and switch box 2. These two switches in switch box 1 are two-way toggle switches that allow you to control the lights from two different locations. Similarly, both switches in switch box 2 are also two-way toggle switches. Before starting, ensure you switch off the MCB. Now, let's open both switch boxes and take a look at the existing connections. In switch box 1, you'll see four connected switches. The two normal toggle switches have two screw terminals, while the other two two-way toggle switches have three screw terminals. To simplify, we'll label the two-way switches as S1 and S2 for switch box 1, and S3 and S4 for switch box 2. We will also label the screw terminal for better understanding. We will label the terminals for S1 as S1A, S1B, and S1C. Terminals for S2 as S2A, S2B, and S2C. S3 as S3A, S3B, and S3C. And S4 as S4A, S4B, and S4C. The black wire is the neutral wire, and the red wire connected to the copper line is the main wire. In the normal toggle switches, there are two terminals where the main and load wires are connected. In the two-way toggle switches, there are three terminals connected as follows. S1A is connected to S3A with a red connector wire, and S1C connects to S3C with similar red connector wire. Same way, S2A connects to S4A, and S2C connects to S4C. The load connections are made through S1B and S2B in switch box 1, while the main wire is connected to S3B and S4B in switch box 2. Remember, the 4-node mini smart switch must be installed in the switch box where the load connections are present, not the main connections. Connecting the device to switches with main connections can damage it. Now, let's unbox the 4-node mini smart switch. You'll find four color-coded wires for load connections. The terminals on the smart switch are labeled as N for neutral, L for live, and 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the load wire input. First, connect the neutral wire to the N terminal on the 4-node mini device. Then connect the main. Take a separate wire and connect one end to the L terminal of the 4-node mini device and the other end to the main copper wire running through the toggle switches. Next, remove the existing load wires from the toggle switches and connect each load wire to terminal 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the 4-node mini device. Coming to the color-coded wires, the black wire will be the output connection for Terminal 1. We will connect it to the first toggle switch. The brown is the output connection for Terminal 2, and we will connect it to the second toggle switch. The red wire is the output connection for Terminal 3, and we connect it to Terminal S1B. The orange is output connection for Terminal 4 and will be connected to S2B. Once all the connections are complete, turn the MCB back on. When the device powers on, the red LED will begin blinking, indicating that it's in configuration mode. Now, it's time to test the connection. You should be able to operate the lights from both switch boxes seamlessly. Let's configure the smart switch with your smartphone. 
Ensure that your mobile phone's Bluetooth is enabled and mobile data is turned off. Connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Download and open the Smart Life app. Login into the app and click Add Device. The app will search for nearby devices. Once the device is visible click on it. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Then tap Next. Wait for the device to be added. Once added, select the device and then click Done. Now you can see how the device can be operated through an app. After ensuring the device operates properly, place the device and wires inside the gang box and close it. Your 4-node mini two-way switch connection is now ready to use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team.